Uh, we, this is Conan the Barber, classic Conan the Barber comic from Marvel. A goth gave us two random Conan the Barber comics and two DC rip-offs of Conan the Barber and expected us to just be able to review them, even though I didn't really like the Swords and Saucer Pots genre. Uh, this is Conan the Barber 253. And I don't know if this is like the most critically acclaimed issue ever of it's from like a period that people pretend didn't happen. But it does have the magic body from Uncanny Excellent Men issue 191. Uh, Gillian McKeith. She's the main villain for this story. Uh, we have got art by Dave Edgar Hoover who is an underrated dead artist. And it's written by longtime Conan the Barber scribe, Roger Thomas. Uh, what's happened is Conan the Barber, he has gone to this place to meet a person. And obviously, and I know about Conan the Barber or his multitude of stories and his mythology. And mostly just now the stuff that seeped through to the rest of the Marvel Universe. Like the Serpent Hat or Gillian McKeith. So this one, I suppose it's pretty handy in that regard. Conan the Barber and his mate, they have gone to try and get some help off some queen or something. And it's actually Gillian McKeith up to her hard tricks of pretending to faint. But a lot of this, it's just like an alien language to us. Uh, maybe that is the twist at the end. Uh, at the end of all the Conan the Barber comics, it turns out that they're actually on Mars. I didn't think anything has ever been done with these sorts of stories on Mars. Uh, the creator of Conan the Barber, L. Ron Howard, if you're watching this video, you can have that idea. D. Conan the Barber, but on Mars. Conan the Barber, he refuses to kill a witch for Gillian McKeith. And there's a fight. And am I to be doomed by shoddy weavery? No, I didn't worry. He's fine. He lives. Uh, Conan the Barber, he beats them all up. So if you like your toxic white male bullies, there's that for you. And then, look, a woman. Stop the presses. It's it's a woman. Uh, really good art, at least. But I really struggle to finish this one. I'm just, I'm just not interested in these characters or this world, even. Uh, Conan the Barber, he gets stuck in some pink spunk, by which I mean cum, or semen, or sperm. Uh, he is stuck in some ejaculate. It took us about six hours to get to the end of this comic. That's how uninvested and uninterested I was in this story, or Conan the Barber. It's just not a genre I care for. It's too far removed from what I like, superheroes and fun. Uh, and it's not just Conan the Barber, even the superhero books that kind of do stuff like this, all the fairyland bollocks, I'm not interested in it. Stuff like Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman fucking bores us, I have no interest in Wonder Woman. Uh, Four. I pretty much only tolerate Thor because of Avengers comics or any of the crazy cosmic stuff away from Fairyland. Uh, and then occasionally in his book Amanda the Enchanter shows up and makes it worth reading. Uh, Conan the Barber, he doesn't even have the benefit of what those books have in that there might be a small percentage of my brain that can be interested in a story. There's just no ear for me. Uh, well, there's a sexy lady, but she's nowhere even near Amanda the Enchanter. I'm sure she is nice and friendly, but Amanda the Enchanter, she ain't. If you like this genre, if you like Conan the Barber, you will probably like this, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if this is a good Conan the Barber issue, but it's not for me. And this redhead, she wasn't even in it. Uh, I'll rate this. Let's think about it. 
Uh, I'm going to rate this, um, I think that's seven thumbs up.